Today coming up really cheap speakers and how to actually make your bass work on all kinds of systems. Different places, different worlds, nothing left, just empty words. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Great news this morning. I have entered the charts, the iTunes charts in Netherlands with my All About track, I think number 72, which is really great. So thanks to all of the people from the Netherlands. And my fall release from three weeks ago with Calvin Venice has now passed the 60,000 place on Spotify which is also really great in this short amount of time. And as you can see, I've decided to start doing sport again, at least half an hour every single day. I mean, if I'm able to make a video every day, there should be a way to sneak in half an hour just to be a little bit active. There's no way I can just sit in the studio every day for eight to 12 hours and, and not really move a whole lot. That's, that's definitely not good. These wood cubes and the sanding and gluing is starting to get pretty annoying. So let's start with something fun. I got a new nice, got a new nice package. Finally got one of those laptop fan things to cool it. It smells like made in China. And new speakers. These are very special speakers. The special thing about these speakers is that they are actually extremely bad. These are the worst speakers I ever bought. They just cost 12 euros and are one of the most bought speakers on Amazon. Gotta say though, for the price, they look kind of good. Build quality, solid. Let's plug them in and test the sound. I've tested, if you can even call it a test, um, they are bad. There is nothing else you can expect for that kind of amount of money. And compared to my big Yamaha speakers, it's really bad. But there is a huge price difference and for 12 euros, they're actually not that bad. I mean, probably better than laptop speakers, but not really a whole lot better, still really bad. And if you're now asking yourself, why should I buy so bad speakers for the studio? There is one, there is one reason, but let me first try and, and capture the sound and compare it with my big speakers, just for you to get an idea how bad they actually are. I will record it with the microphone on the camera, so you might not hear the full potential, but it will be enough to compare. The difference is huge. pretty sure you heard a difference not the most scientific test but you get the point these speakers are actually here i bought them just to have like a second pair of speakers and having really bad speakers in the studio is something you can immensely benefit from because these speakers kind of represent what most people are listening to a lot of people listen to music on their phone maybe on a Sonos speaker, which is already good, but most of them are mono. Not a whole lot of people buy a set of two of them and then they don't spread them out in, in a stereo triangle to make it nice at your sweet spot at home. They usually just spread them out throughout the apartment to cover every single spot. And it sometimes sounds really bad, especially if the speakers have a tiny delay between each other. So having a bad set of speakers in the studio can help you to mix actually. You should of course never mix on speakers like that but switching during the mixing phase to bad speakers can help you to find mistakes that might not be that obvious on bigger studio speakers. For example a lot of times I have the vocals a tiny bit too loud because on the big speakers here in the studio I can just separate them really good from the rest of the elements and although the vocals are in the middle and the foreground I can still hear the guitar in the background the kick the bass but on bad speakers it's sometimes just overwhelming vocals so I for example know to lower the vocals a tiny bit and kind of find a balance between my big speakers and those really bad speakers this way I can test the mix way faster. I don't have to bounce the track out, test it on my phone, test it on the Sonos speakers at home, 
or in the car I can just directly do that in the studio and adjust accordingly without the hassle of trying to export it to all of these other devices come back to the studio and then again guess. I also have built-in speakers into the monitor I sometimes switch to them to test the signal I also check it on my headphones on the really cheap ones on the slightly better DJ headphones and also on my really good headphones but they're most of the time at home. Every speaker is different every room is different you can't mix a song at one place and make sure it sounds everywhere as good as it does at that place you have kind of to find the compromise between all of the systems that are available this also changes over time back in the 80s songs were way more mid-heavy this had mostly to do with the speakers that were built back then speakers had way less space so the music also had way less space it didn't make any sense to put a whole lot into the low end if no one can even listen to it nowadays most speakers go down to 30 hertz or some even lower so it totally makes sense to make sure that your track also has that bottom end especially for bigger club systems you definitely need to make sure to get that low end right but since a lot of people are also listening to club music at home on their smaller devices you also have to make sure it sounds good on them and kind of finding the middle in between is usually the hardest and these cheap speakers will hopefully help me to get there. Just as an example I opened here the We Run and Track with Gavin. It has a pretty clubby drop just with kick and bass. And that high guitar part. So for example if I just listen to the bass on my bigger speakers, so let me also turn on the analyzer so you can see what I'm actually listening to. I already added quite a bit of like higher low end in the bass. I usually do it in the synthy right away with the cutoff. It sounds pretty good the lower I go here on the cutoff. I have less high frequencies. Here in the studio it sounds totally fine, especially with the kick. But if I now switch here to the B speakers, the cheap ones, The bass doesn't really translate that good, so it makes totally sense to open up a little bit more, give it that fuzziness to make sure those speakers actually have something to play. And if this is still not helping, there is a plugin by Waves called Max Bass. This will further try and improve and sneak a couple of frequencies into the higher range of the bass. You can set here the frequency that should be like picked up and then adjust this Max Bass to kind of fake bass frequencies to the top. Especially here in the analyzer you will be able to see it without. And with. This is by far the easiest way to make sure your bass also translates onto a smaller systems. You have to make sure that there is something that sounds like a bass and place the bass notes above a certain frequency depending on the style of a track. If you make a pure club track, it doesn't really matter that much. It will be only played in a club. But if you make like a house track or a pop track or a rock track or something that might be just played on the radio or at home that is more a listening track, try to make sure that it has this higher bass feel at least. Otherwise, if people listen to it on smaller speakers, they will just hear like the click of a kick and like the, the top melody parts, maybe the piano, the voice and some strings in that, but the bass part that is actually also making in most tracks, the groove is then entirely gone. So you just have like a four to the floor kick and something on top that's super boring. I blew one of the cheap speakers while working the left one isn't working anymore just within a couple of hours. I 
I might have to try and search for other speakers. Just a second. Yep, chop. Vanessa's done with work, so I will probably leave in a couple of seconds as well. Where was I? Yes, I need speakers that are good build quality but sound cheap. Finding that isn't that easy. I think there are some special speakers available. Justus has one of these, like a cubed speaker that is mono. That is good to test the sound, but it's like above 100 euros, I think two or maybe even more. This might be already a little bit too much for just a second pair of speakers to compare. So I might get these ones just again, and this time try not to turn up the volume all the way. At least the fan cooling thing is working. Computer is way less hot, no fans, no sound, all good. I just need to figure out how to find the time to actually take care of continuing building the diffuser. It, it's still it's still not finished, not even the first one. You see this little bit is still missing, the rest is finished and it just looks so cool. Can't wait to actually put the diffuser onto the back wall and test how it will sound. Actually now time to announce the final winners of the competition. Great timing. Vanessa will be my lucky fairy. You just have to pick one person out of all of the comments that have notification squad in them. First you need to choose the video. There were three videos. Tell me a number between one and three. Are you kidding me? <laughs> To Wait, choose the video. I'm Wait. going to do Any Minimista, <laughs> and the one which is out is the one okay. we. Okay. Any Minimista. I don't know how to translate it into English. Any Minimista. Mac on two plus back. That's the video from um, yesterday. Today, coming up, a review of my new. Cool guy, huh? Handsome. Yeah. Stop. Okay, we got a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Arif Yaya. I'm not even trying to pronounce it, but I, I think this... Muhammad. <laughs> you won. One copy of Nectar 2, which is a really great plugin. Thanks a lot to my lucky fairy, a boss. Thumbs up. Right? Of course. <laughs> okay, you can now go back to... Uh, Housekeeping? Yes. Exactly. What else? I have to correct one thing. I said this morning my track has 60,000 plays on Spotify. It went up to 70 in just one day, which is amazing. There is a new Logic update that I have to download right away. And yeah, we'll just see us tomorrow again. You also want a copy of Nectar too? Of course. Do you know what it is for? Set? Yeah, for your set. Like chick chick DJ. <laughs>